And uh, I mean, I, I'm, God help anybody that is trying to rule at the same level that some are because you're going to have to find how your voice rules. And yet for the Lord to say that this gathering is so key in that is amazing. And so uh, the remnant, of course, God doesn't do anything without his remnant. And I look at some of you, you've been in the remnant. I, I look at... You guys from Maryland, and you guys have been in the remnant for 40 years that I know of. And uh, not everybody can stay in the remnant. Not everybody can make it from one transition in the kingdom to the next transition. Because, see, the kingdom's within us, and sometimes, the, now this is going to be prophetic for you to understand, sometimes the body we're a part of refuses to transition to be the new remnant. Now, I don't see that here. And it's really not about age. It is about who is transitioning to be in this new remnant. So that becomes really important for us. And so the divine pause we went through is, was a pause, I think, to start redefining us and to really see what the remnant looks like for the future and who's going to be enforcing justice in days ahead. Are we going to just allow the law to enforce justice? And that would be great if the law understood God's law of justice. And so we're coming into a very, very unique time. Now, that brings me to this statement, prophetic apostolic people are who creates the, pro we're who create the prototypes for the future. So if God has chosen this place, 13 colonies, Trenton, Philadelphia, he has chosen you to be creating a prototype for the future. That means what will go first to set the course for what is to come. And so in a lot of areas, we must see this move of God. Now, here's something else, and I think this is, and this wasn't something that I haven't been saying, but we need to see where we are at the war memorial that God brought us to, to have this gathering. We're living in a war era. And he said, okay, let me lift all the constraints and gather together the remnant of my original 13 colonies to the war memorial where the first war for this nation was won, and then let's go from there. And you're going to have to see there's going to be a lot of movement going on in this nation over the next several months. A lot of things happening. A lot of movement going on. See, because God chose me in 1980 to start working in China and working in the Soviet bloc countries, a lot of what's happening there is even fulfillment of things that I have been seeing for that many years. Now, think about how long that is. That's 42 years. And with that, we're seeing things really get aligned in new ways right now. So we're about to see great change come. You cannot fear the change ahead. That will get you nowhere. And with that, what the Lord told me last November is by the time we got to spring, which we're in it now, spring would be the time for war. So for the Lord to have us here at the War Memorial for the First World War, it's saying something. Take a deep breath. You don't have to, I mean, we're already in World War. You don't have to wonder if it's coming. We're already there. We've been in it for a while now. You're still here, tell somebody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't have to just all of a sudden think, God, we're in war, or is war coming? It's been here for a while. 
Now, it started at, at a new moment on March the 20th, 2020. So you've been living in it. Tell somebody you're doing great. <laughs> Jamie's singing his way through it. I'm telling you. That's what you're going to have to do. And if you ever don't, what did he say in Babylon? You're going to settle down. You're going to build houses. And you're going to find my blessings. And you're going to pull them down. And you are not going to worry about getting back to an old place where you've been. Because you're going to settle in and get to the new place I'm taking you. See, if we've got to think like that. Now, so this war is intensifying. And what the Lord showed me in November was who would be passive by spring? Well, look around. You're not passive. You gathered. That says there's a new anointing for you. It says you'll break through when you didn't think you could break through. It says you're on the right path. And so what the Lord showed me during this remnant pull aside we've had, he showed me this harvest sickle moving through the heavens, not the earth realm. But what it was doing as it moved through the heavens, it was unlocking the war of harvest in the earth realm. And many of you have read Passover prophecies. I'm sure we have some here and uh, other books. But in there, I write about how the har a war angel of harvest visited me. And I said, the three years would be great training for my people. So, I mean, God doesn't do anything without first telling somebody. Now, poke somebody and say, that might be you next time. <laughs> 